Um, all right, here we go. So in this example, um, this would be, oh, one that's, um, is this the square root, right? Yes. OK. Um, so based in here on the square root, um, we'll have this as a, um, so we want to rewrite this in term squared, right? So therefore, we're going to have, um, this would be 6 squared x squared. And you can do y squared times y squared times y squared, right? Or you can also do x cubed. Y cubed. I'm sorry, y cubed, thank you. y cubed squared by using the power rule, right? Whenever you can use the power rule, I prefer to use the power rule. But you also could have done y squared times y squared times y squared. And then again, guys, the main important thing is just using this identity element. All we're looking for is whenever the index is the same as the power. So remember, the index in this case is 2, right? If there's no index, we know that it's, we assume it's 2. <coughs> so therefore, the square root of 6 squared is? 6. six. The square root of x squared is? X. x. The square root of y cubed is? Y cubed. Y, sorry, square root of y cubed squared is just y cubed, right? However, now since we had an even power, since we have an even power, but now since we have an even power, and once we took this, simplified this, oh, so we're, yeah. So once we have an even power, however, we have, um, these are now to an odd power. We just want to make sure that we're going to apply our absolute value, stating that they are going to be positive values. Because in reality, guys, if you had like y to the sixth power, could you have you could use a negative number or a positive number, right? Doesn't really matter if it was positive or if it was negative. Correct? So we're just saying when you take it on the outside, if it's positive or negative, like if it's negative, like let's just use like the number negative one. Negative one to the sixth power is one. However, if you had negative one to the third power, it's now negative one. See what I'm saying? So we just want to make sure we're using the positive value of it. And that's all so it's really saying. Like even where it matter, right, to now odd. odd. So we just want to say that it's the absolute. So whenever you're taking the even root and